This is Carla Aquatine Ongleforce, and this is my Stone Cold Lock of the Century. Oh, the week. I've had a lot of good memories of Giant Stadium over the years. The time it was 14 below and I exposed myself to Dave Campo, or the time I tagged Jeff Bostic with not one, but two chili dogs from the upper mezzanine. Who was the hog on that day, Bostic? Huh? It just breaks my heart to know that I will never be physically escorted out of Giant Stadium ever again. Last week's travesty against the Panthers was a bitter pill, but a real man don't dwell on the mistakes of the past. He denies that those mistakes happened, and he points fingers at those that were not responsible. So with the NFL season essentially over now that the Giants were scammed out of it by Brett Favre, dig deeper, follow the money, I turn my thoughts to the college game, where I wish Urban Meyer would quit. Whining. I don't care for quitters. Bill Parcells didn't quit. He had his aorta replaced with a pig valve at halftime of Super Bowl 25, and they won that game. And then, yeah, he did quit. But he didn't quit eating foods high in saturated fats. Look, I get chest pains at my job and migraine headaches and hallucinations because I was applying a toxic solution to children's toys without a respirator. But I hung tough. I didn't quit that job until I learned that I would be fired for shoving my boss. Then, yes, I did quit. Point is, don't never surrender. Don't never quit unless you shove your boss. Or if you get a high-paying job at Notre Dame, then, yeah, by all means, you'll quit. Family, children, them are fleeting things. But a higher-paying job at Notre Dame, that's forever. That said, the Florida Gators are called Stone Cold Lock of the Century. Or the week. Because Cincinnati ain't got no coach. Because he quit. Because Cincinnati blows. You hear me, Cincinnati? I hate your sports teams.